I've got so much gardening to do today. Look who's here. Hello. It's a hedgehog. I won't touch her because she's covered in sharp prickles. I've often seen her in the garden. I think she lives here. Hedgehogs usually sleep in the day and only go out at night. So she's up really late. I think she's looking for something to eat. Hedgehogs can't see very well, so they use their noses to sniff about for food. I think she's found something. A nice, fat, juicy worm. Oh, listen. It's the house. There must be a story to tell. Step inside all those who love stories. Look and listen. We've tales to tell of fun, excitement, magic, adventure, tears, fears, and laughter. Surprises as well. Step inside. Hello. Hello, Mr. Mopple. Hello, Mr. Mopple. Mr. Mopple, can you teach me to whistle? Well, you just go like this and blow. <whistles> Don't worry, Twinkle. It takes a lot of practice. I can whistle. Chloe's good at making sounds. Can you whistle, Boris? No, no, I can't whistle. Uh, I'll just look after the box. When we saw you with the hedgehog, Mr. Mopple, it reminded Boris of a story. Did it, Boris? Yes. Now, let me see. Where's that story? Oh, yes, here it is. Stand back, Mr. Mopple. Thank you, Boris. Will you read it, please, Mr. Mopple? Yes, of course I will, Twinkle. The story's called Bear's Eggs. One morning, Bear found three eggs. He looked around. Hello! He shouted. Nobody answered. Bear waited and waited, and no one came. At last, he carefully picked up the eggs. On his way home, he met Hedgehog. Proudly, Bear showed him the eggs. I'm looking after them. Mm. Mm. They'll need a nest, you know, said Hedgehog. Then I'll build one, Bear said, and he carried the eggs to his cave and made a nest. Mm. They have to be kept warm, said Hedgehog. So Bear lay down on the nest and fell asleep. Bear woke up with a start. Something had pricked his tummy. He jumped up. Three little chicks looked at him, tweeting softly. Where did they come from? They came out of the eggs. Oh. Hedgehog, shouted Bear. What do I do now? You teach them to swim, said Hedgehog. Bear headed for the lake. He threw himself into the water. The chicks stayed on the bank. Hedgehog, Bear cried. They don't want to swim. You have to carry them, said Hedgehog. Bear swam very gently with the chicks on his back. 
One after another, they jumped into the water and paddled close to him. Hey, <laughs> Bear laughed proudly. I taught them to do that. Ah, now you have to get them something to eat, ah, called Hedgehog. Bear caught a fish. The chicks swam away. Oh, they're not hungry, Bear said. Hedgehog laughed. <laughs> that fish is much too big. Bear took a deep breath and dived. The chicks followed him, and sure enough, they ate. Day in, day out, Bear took care of the chicks. Then one day, the chicks flapped their wings. Oh, Hedgehog! Bear called. Why are they doing that? They want to learn to fly, said Hedgehog. They're young geese, and geese fly. They walked to the top of a hill. Bear ran down the hill, flapping his arms wildly. <laughs> he looks so funny. The young geese followed him on foot, over and over and over again. Oh, why don't you fly? <laughs> Bear panted. Suddenly he said, I've got an idea. He put the young geese on his shoulders and climbed a tall tree. Then Bear closed his eyes and jumped. With a loud splash, Bear landed in the water. The geese flapped their wings and lo and behold, they were flying. Hedgehog patted Bear on the back. They couldn't have done it without you. Suddenly, a little voice next to him squeaked softly. Can you teach us to fly too? Look, Hedgehog's three babies want to learn to fly now. <laughs> oh no! Wasn't he a kind bear to look after the little geese? Yes. Thank you, Boris. That was a good story. <laughs> Twinkle, was that you? He's practising his whistling, dear. Oh, of course. Yes. He'll be doing it for the rest of the day now. Well, I think I'll get back to work now, then. Goodbye, Mr Mopple. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hedgehog's found another worm. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>